Hey there, this is Reddy Robbins. I'm a Robbins, and we are headed out for the Oakland Zoo, which, you know, is not shockingly in Oakland, California. We bought our tickets ahead of time to reserve our entrance time into the zoo, but little did I know that we were about to experience what nobody else but me is calling parking ocalyp parking ocalypse. It's hard to say that's probably why nobody's calling it that. Parking ocalypse. When we arrived at the Oakland Zoo, we were told by the attendants that the parking lot was full and that we should just go drive around for 15 minutes. Where? We asked. Uh, not here, they said. So we drove around and then tried again to gain entrance to the zoo, but this time the zoo was closed and we were once again told to just go drive around for a little while. Waiting in line. Uh, and then the current plan is to just go somewhere and wait 15 minutes and then come back. Oh, it actually says the Oakland Zoo is closed. It used to say the Oakland Zoo is full, right? Now it says the Oakland Zoo is closed. But as we were about to turn around, we noticed this lower side lot and a car leaving from it. So we zipped in and got a parking spot. Look at this right here. This is gold and a much better spot right there. That's a rarity. That's the rarest animal you're going to see at the zoo today is that is that parking spot. If you're planning on visiting the Oakland Zoo and worried about parking, I would recommend getting there very early or very late in the day. The Oakland Zoo in the hills of Oakland here is the fourth largest zoo in California. That's if you count the Santa Rosa Safari West, which I don't really count that as a zoo. It's more of a safari exhibit. If you take the big ones, the San Diego Zoo, the Los Angeles Zoo, Oakland's actually the third largest zoo. So that's why I'm counting. I'm saying it's the third largest. She said it was the craziest she's ever seen it. Yeah. What does she account? What does she attribute that to that craziness? I attributed it to the nice weather, but I don't know. Once inside, we were excited to go see the bathrooms and then headed to the opened in 2018 gondola that transports guests to the California Trail. We waited in line for about 15 minutes and then took to the skies via a hanging bucket. The ride up and the ride down on the gondola are included with the price of admission and offer great views of Oakland, San Francisco, the Bay, people, and some buffalo. And yes, the ironicness of having a hanging bucket of tourists fly over a herd of buffalo is not lost on me, but I will say their paddock was enormous. Also, the Oakland Zoo is recognized for its outstanding leadership in animal welfare, rescue, rehabilitation, conservation, and education. It's also home to the largest wild animal veterinary clinic in Northern California. At the top of where the buffalo roam, we saw an impressive array of California natives, including a California condor. Condors at the Oakland Zoo receive essential veterinary treatments and animal care before they are released back into the wild. Whoa, two bald eagles. So that jaguar, that cheetah looking jaguar, yes. is native to California. It has to be or they wouldn't put it in this Like area. what part, like Redding? Maybe. <laughs> If you bring your kids to the top of the gondola, don't skip the habitarium at the end of the trail. It's got a bunch of fun activities for little explorers. We exited the gondola and made our way down the hill and saw some parrots along the way. I'll tell you this, birds are usually, they usually show up at a zoo. It's not usually difficult to find a bird. Bears are a different store. Oh. Does this one repeat after you? All right. Hi. Oh yeah, nice job. All right. That's a, that's a high if I ever heard one. After the parrot, I heard what sounded like a bunch of kids running amok in the zoo, but then I realized they were much too quiet to be kids. In fact, they were white-handed gibbons, and they were fun to listen to. And I gotta say, the baby in the group was pretty adorable. Oh, look at the baby. 
<laughs> Look at the baby one. <laughs> Further down the hill, we ran into some tortoises, which have heated floors in their enclosures, and a lemur exhibit, which was undergoing some renovation. So what I'm doing is planting a bunch of edible plants, and I'm getting rid of all of the potentially toxic plants. That way we can have education animals here, like our tortoises, other reptiles. We have a parrot, a possum in the future. So I'm just weeding and planting stuff, answering questions about leaders. But I'm the only animal in here, right? <laughs> Petting barn area was a big hit. One of the goats liked us so much it tried to escape with us. You can get a comb and go in and comb some of the goats, some of whom were named after Disney characters. Those aren't Disney names. I like Tony though. Tony's Tony. pretty good. Though. <laughs> I mean, Woody's a Disney name. Woody, and you got an Ariel. Okay, we got Woody, Ariel. That's it? Well, that's Penelope, I guess. Okay, yeah. Bon Chui. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That counts. In addition to the gondola, which again is included with the price of admission, the Oakland Zoo also has a chairlift ride, which for five bucks, they'll fly you over the top of the lion exhibit. The chairlift ride takes you up and back with no stop at the top. Oh look, somebody did lose their shoes. Is that a croc? Where? Are those shoes? Yeah, yeah. Right there. There's like a bunch of baby shoes. That's crazy. And if you're lucky like we were, just as you're dropped off, the Outback Adventure Express train will be pulling into the station. The train is on the outside of the zoo with a bunch of other small amusement rides. It doesn't require admission to the zoo and is about a buck fifty per passenger, but you may have to pay 15 bucks in parking just to pay that dollar fifty to ride. I, I don't really know. The parking at the Oakland Zoo is bananas. Parking Aquilips. Hey, speaking of bananas, after the chairlift ride, we were in need of a little treat. So we headed into the cafe near the entrance, but all they had were bigger meals and honestly, an insane amount of Cheetos. Cheetos is not a sponsor of this video. And so we decided to head back down the hill to the lower entrance and conclude our day at the zoo. Still in need of a treat though, we headed to nearby College Avenue, which is filled with restaurants and shops and is a relatively safe place to hang out. We got some treats from the infamous La Farine Bakery, which has been on College Avenue since 1974. The pastries were good, but would have been great if we had gotten them earlier in the day. I mean, who gets a croissant at 5.30 in the evening? I, I guess this guy does. Thanks for spending the day with us at the Oakland Zoo. Like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again soon for another California adventure.